We're at the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi to have our first look at the McLaren P1 and we thought we'd have a really close look at all the incredible aero and the technical details of the car. We're with Paul McKenzie who's the P1 programme director so it's his baby so there's no better guy to, to tell us about the car. So Paul can you take us through and we'll have a quick walk around. Of course yeah so the, uh, the design of the car is really driven by aerodynamics that's, yeah. that's really uh, sculpted the whole the whole vehicle so even these details like this this nose section here it's all about getting clean air up into the engine intake yep. on, on the roof and for the main cooling we've actually got our intake on the inside the doors you can see these huge ducts down here yep. and it's all about getting good clean air up over the fender so we're not not getting the interruption of any of the dirty air coming from the wheel arch so yep. really good quality air down in here over the back, you can see in the ticks, they're actually the clutch coolers we've got on both okay, sides. Okay, so you've got a further intake. Further intake, yeah. So it's all about managing air. Nine, 900 horsepower, it needs a lot of air to feed it. It generates a lot of heat, so we've got to get rid of that, yeah. rid, of that rid of that heat as well. And of course, we've got the different um, settings. So we've got it in race mode here. We're right down yeah. on the haunches, so it's down 50 millimeters from its road settings. 50 mil? And you can see how wow. close it is here. Yeah. You can't drive on the public road like this, it really is too low, so sleeping policemen and things would be a real problem. Yeah. But also, it's gone down so low, it's actually taken it away of the legal settings, so the headlights, the pedestrian impact are actually away so from So it's this. way more extreme than you could otherwise do. Absolutely. And the rear wing actually sticks out as, uh, behind the car. So this is on its maximum That's downfall its maximum setting downfall. at the moment. And that actually uh, works, it goes up, but it also pitches. So it's actually got a pitch movement about uh, 29 degrees. Yeah. And so you've got the DRS function. So on the steering wheel, like in the Formula One car, you come out of the corner, you press that and, that, and that flattens off as well. But actually, if you're going over 160 miles an hour, it actually knows that you're, that, that, um, you know, you're yeah. going fast. It'll actually start backing off. So it'll do that itself it or you off. have the option to, Absolutely. to do it. Now, as soon as you brake or put any um, steering input in, it'll pop back up. Yeah. So it's acting as an air brake. Now, because we've got that and you've got a big um, surface at the back of the car, uh, that would change the, the, the driving balance of the car. So we've actually got under, tucked up under the, under the floor. Yeah, which you, the you can't actually you see can't it. Actually there's um, flaps which are working in conjunction with the rear wing to make sure so they're always always balanced. That's right. Um, so yeah, I mean it's uh, it's the, the, the geometry is really driven driven by the uh, the aerodynamics of the car. Did you do a lot of the aerodynamics in CFD, so in simulation, and then yeah. you verify that with with Absolutely. road testing? Yeah, so we started in CFD. Uh, the our chief aerodynamicist um, Simon Lacey actually joined us from the Formula One team yeah. way back in late 2009 when we kicked off the program. So he brought a lot of Formula One technology. A lot of CFD was done uh, run to start with, and then of course we go into the wind tunnel and then onto the car. And it's when you get into that that you start seeing the subtle differences between the CFD. And so, for example, what we found was this was actually quite a late addition to the car. Yeah. We found that we weren't getting the efficiency of the radiator in here because of the turbulence here, and we didn't see that on CFD. So actually this was a late addition and, and that's why you, you, you're but it's quite an honest yeah. shape then isn't it everything has a function Absolutely. although it's quite stylized in certain yeah. areas yeah so what we did is we actually had the aerodynamicists and the engineers sitting in this in the studio with the designers so rather than just giving the designers that free hand of sketching we had those three functions actually in the studio so the back of the car is probably one of the most dramatic uh, areas it is amazing with, isn't with it? a it's huge just... rear diffuser yeah um, and you can see where we have the, the the back end is open and that's all about exiting hot, exiting the hot air as well and on the top we have the titanium cover and again this is all about getting the right air out yeah and actually here this is actually a so chimney that, that's another vent there so that's actually another vent here so it's actually you can feel the uh, the the heat coming out of there uh, but, but it's yeah. still quite enclosed though isn't it compared to like a 918 spider or something which is basically the whole back end of the car on the deck lid you're extracting far more from, from here. Absolutely, than... yeah, yeah. And I mean, the design really is um, shrunk, um, wrapped. And so when, when we first conceived the idea, we actually took all the engineering hard points and actually just put a, the, the, the closest surface to yeah. those hard points. The way the back of the car is so low, it, it's a totally different look to any other supercar you've ever seen. I yeah, think. when you see how low it is. Um, and you really see the aerodynamics working uh, in this configuration in wet conditions. The, the, the big, rooster tail yeah, that you yeah, get yeah. Is, 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 is stunning. So that works really well. There's terrific purity and functionality in, in the shape, but then you've got some really distinctive details, yeah. which yeah. probably the, the most striking one is this 
yeah. tail light, isn't it? Yeah, the rear lights, I'll, I'll turn them on. It was actually um, one of the first penned lines on the styling. So Frank Stephenson did this, this great. Just to flourish, yeah. and that's what and, you've... And it, oh, there you go, it's they're great on. That it's great that it's actually that is really, really materialised. And when you follow the car at night... It's it totally really unmistakable, signature. isn't it? Yeah, and it actually does peter out, and that's, yeah. that's by design. But again, we needed a very thin light, so it, it didn't interfere with the cooling at the back of the car yeah. as well. So they are incredibly thin on, on, on the rear clam to open up. And what materials... I mean, you've got the heat shield for the exhaust, you've got this mesh. Have you had to use any so, special materials or processes to, to protect the car? Or So the um, bodywork is all carbon fibre. Um, obviously got the visual carbon fibre, all the bodywork itself is, is, is carbon fibre. We've got titanium on, on the, the heat shields, the, uh, the exhaust muffler, yeah. titanium and titanium up here. So we're using quite some exotic materials. Um, there's an aluminium mesh. This was really designed about getting, it's got, uh, it's, it, it doesn't block any so air. It's so it's minimal for resistance for the... resistance. So even that has been designed in such a way to make sure wow. that we actually minimize the, the, <laughs> the effect. So, you know, it really is, um, everything is designed for, for, for a function. But also there's, a, you know, some lovely engineering detail on here. You know, these are, these are big, meaty uh, posts here, but it's 600 kilos of downforce. It's a huge that's, that's amount. That's taking quite a lot of load. Yeah. The, uh, the wheels, uh, we're using super aluminium. Right, it is. Uh, Wouldn't uh, use normal aluminium. No, it's super alloy, and it just gives us a 10% uh, weight saving on standard aluminium. So it's uh, so everywhere we can. And that's can, where it counts most, isn't it? Absolutely. Everywhere we can, we've tried to uh, maximise by using the right materials. And the brakes are pretty special as well, aren't we? We can come around this side. And yeah, the brakes we developed with Akabono, our Formula One partner. And um, they are quite interesting as much as they, they go almost a mirror finish. They, they do look totally different to any other carbon. Yeah, they're a carbon strap, but they actually have a silicon carbide coating on them. And um, they, I mean, the, the, the stopping performance is fantastic, not just on the track, but actually on normal the street feel driving, on you get yeah. good feel, which is obviously a, a problem we, you, you can't get with these types of brakes. So they're fantastic. Uh, yeah, work really well. And you haven't chosen to have regenerative braking. It's just on, on overrun. Our target for the car was to produce the best driver's car. So anything that we felt interfered with the balance of the car, the feel of the car, we, inv we investigated it all up front, yeah. but when we looked at uh, regen braking, it actually is very difficult on the calibration and on the feel to get it right. I think so, you can always feel a step that's right. when it yeah. engages and disengages, can't you? Yeah, so we, you know, we've got, um, on, when you lift off, on, you get regen on lift off, but, but not on braking. And that's enough? For, for the range that you've got, the yeah. capability you've got in this battery, that's enough to keep that topped up, isn't it, I guess? Yeah, that's right, yeah. And the, the range on here, on a full battery, you'll get over uh, over 10 kilometres of range. So, and, and, and that's 10 kilometres is when you're going, you know, 30, 50, 70 miles an hour, yeah. the NEDC cycle. So if you're just pootling around town, you'll get more than Or that. traffic jams or, traffic or jams, yeah. yeah. And actually driving in that configuration, it, it's actually very relaxing. Um, you know, you... Um, you it's it's a big engine it's a big throaty engine so uh, sometimes you actually just want a bit of quiet you press the yeah. ev button yeah. it all dies but we've got a, a little there's a whine that comes from the actual the gearing system because the motor drives through the gearbox it isn't does. it so it's yeah. not a stepless that's right and so you get this whine it's a bit of a sci-fi sound but it but it steps up with the gears yeah. and it is it's, it's a great sound it feels appropriate for what you're doing with yeah. the car thanks very much for that paul i, I hope that's given you a flavor at least of some of the details of the car. We'll be driving it later and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Mm -hmm.